Welcome back to the channel, my people. I'm Cole. I'm Joel. Sure. We're going to run through this week's What's He Doings. What's He Done? This is defensive errors that the Premier League just don't tell you. It's a little stat we found. We like to call it What's He Doing. We're going to get straight into Full Pal, Full City. Fulham versus Man City. <laughs> it is Fulham versus Man City. And Sean, starting off this match week with cheeky Spinner Rooney from Issa Diop. Guardiola sent him spin cycle. Guardiola's turned into the most informed striker in the league. He's the centre back. <laughs> and I'm not happy about it. So next up, Tom Kearney. Mm -hmm. The initial tackle by Polina is world class. Like, would have been the best challenge of the game. Agreed. But then no one moves. Yeah, I know. Stuck Every in the mud. Everyone's like, that's the best tackle I've ever seen. Surely, like, we just win the game because mm -hmm. we did that. But then Kearney is the closest to the ball. And he's just stood there. He's the closest sit is he? Yeah. Oh, well. I feel like he's the only one that could put a foot in. There's going to be a running theme for my goal, certainly which we call poop here, painfully out of position. And uh, there's a lot of them coming up. The next one for me, though, Sean, real easy. Uh, Leno pushed it into his own net. We don't like blaming the goalkeepers. But when they're plebs, we've got to call them on it. So on the list, Len. It's not the only goalkeeper that pushes it into his own net. The next one, more simple than mm -hmm. even pushing it into your own net. Diop, you give the pen, you get the fault. And... um. It's a known thing. Also got a red card, so fair play to him. I mean, if you're going to give a pen, get sent off for it. It's, it's a rare sight of getting a red card for a penalty. They, were, they knew they were done, so they're not playing for anything now. They'll want to get on the beach. Nuke Brighton. Don't do that. Newcastle versus Brighton. Uh, Mr. Anderson. Uh, he let Sean's favourite beat him on the far post. Joel uh, Feltman, on what, score sheet. What a guy. Putting Elliot on the list. Joel, that play to you. I quite enjoy you. You're fun to watch. And then Lamptey gets involved. Is he? And Lamptey, my favourite part of defending is when you just stand there, mm -hmm. don't do anything. Yeah. Or you reverse constantly. <laughs> but Lamptey is getting sent forward, backward, left, right, <laughs> all over the shop. So bad that Gross steps in. Yeah. And he also gets sent to the shops. Someone's on Lamptey's joystick there, just pushing him, pulling him, pulling him. Rah. But Lamptey, you've got to get on the list because watching you just follow your man. As he goes backwards towards you, left and then right. It's embarrassing. Can't do it. Tottenham. Spurs burn. <laughs> Tottenham Burnley. He's wishing we would skip. Uh, Ollie, what are you doing? Yeah, beautiful full pitch press goal by Burnley. Fantastic goal. All the way up. Whole team involved. Um, skip. Poop. Painfully out of position. What are you doing? He's a holding midfielder. Yeah, well, he didn't hold nothing. Well, he held this Earl. <laughs> Classic on the list. Oh, Roche. Oh, no. Oh. I was worried you'd give him a goal here. I could give this no fault, but yeah. O'Shea just never comes over to Porro. Oh, I, I saw this as well. There's yeah. a whole like five seconds where Porro is just sprinting, yep. and O'Shea is just going to the middle of the box. Yeah, he makes like a, a curved run, goes, oh, there's no one else running. To oh, that's my job, straight yeah. over. And then as soon as Porro's got the ball, O'Shea then steps towards him. Porro knew exactly what he was going to do the moment that got on his foot. Oh, yeah. Near post. Just wallop it as hard as you can. Well, I'm sorry for the next one, Sean, because I know you love this guy. Easty. Maxime. What are you doing? What have you done? Uh, he's, he's put in the most ballet block I've ever seen. He's, he's put a little twinkle toe up. He's put a little, ooh. And, uh, but he got pulled painfully out of position. Ooped all over himself. And uh, VDV. Van de Ven. He's showing the striker's ass, done. He's taking on Guardiola. But uh, who can score the best as a defender? This goal is ridiculous. Because one, why is the centre-back scoring a goal that looks like this? Mm -hmm. And two, why is the centre-back scoring a goal? <laughs> why is he that far up the pitch? Why is he the furthest one? It's like the other week when Romero... He's also painfully out of position. <laughs> it's like the other week when Romero was the only player up front for Spurs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the keeper just passed it to him. Yeah. It's like, you have it. See what you can do. Yeah. Ever Sheffield. Ever Chef. Eve Chef. Big Wes. Wes yeah, Fodringham. Not happy about this one. Back on the list. And it's my goal. Hate it. Hold that. I need this one. No, nah, you can't have it. Fodringham is just trying to play as a centre-back yeah. for this goal. And for whatever reason, he's decided to chase Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Don't put that in his hands. Like, he's a goalkeeper that refuses to use his hands. I'm so glad we got one more from him. Because I just... I, I don't know what I would have done. You got Amit Hodzic last week. I needed to have a Fodringham, and what is he doing? He's slide tackling. What is he doing? With his head. Slide tackles in his own box as a goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful to watch. He's so useless. Retire, bruv. You're done. No, no, no. He leaves Ducore wide open with an open goal, three yards out, and he's never going to miss. No, exactly. We slut. What? 
<laughs> West Ham Luton. Wow. Uh, I'm giving this one to Ogbonna, Sean, Ogbonna. because uh, he can see the run coming in of Lukonga. And even if he had just stepped forward, he'd have got body checked, but it wouldn't have been a goal. And that's the whole point of what's he doing. The defender's not doing his job. We're telling you how he's not doing his job. Get in the comments. And if at the end of the video you like the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the video so you can see the next video. Either way, Ogbonna fell asleep on his run. Yeah, I think Ogbonna's done. Yeah, he's, he's just done. He's not... He's tired. He's Better. not played hard most of the season. But he scuffs the clearance and it falls to the one man you don't want it to go to. Mm -hmm. In, what, 12 yards out, ball's basically not moving. James Ward-Prowse is going to yeah. like, smash it bottom corner. <laughs> he is, yeah. That's just what he does. That's what he does. He's him. What's he doing? That's what he does. That's what he does. Uh, the next goal is weird because Chong gets dragged to the ground. and It's definitely a foul. Not given because referees are amazing in the Premier League. And then, it, for me, it's, it's then Adebayo. He's a striker, so he's not used to defending. But he tries to just throw a leg out and he's just got sit-ums. He's just watching. And then Suchek, out of nowhere. Just, he only scores screamers. He only scores from miles away or Trevella volleys. Do you not think Suchek looks like Harry Kane from Wish? A B-Tech. Like, Harry Kane. He looks like Harry Kane. Harry Kane already looks like his own B-Tech. He looks like <laughs> if you put Harry Kane in your backpack on a sunny day. That's just rude. You can't It's say. not rude. Harry Kane's They're both very man. handsome men. Who's the next one? Lamptey part two. It's Osho. Oh. Osho gets sent forward, backwards, left to right by Kudus. Yeah. And it's so bad that Doherty has to step in and he also gets sent shops by okay. Kudus. He's gone to the Prometheus school of getting controlled by other people. Yeah. Yeah, but again, it's just like where the ball goes, the defender just follows three yards away. Mm. It's like just keeps a perfect just pop up. Kick him. Yeah. Or do one of them. Solid advice from Sean there. That's He's always riddled with injuries. The, the, the Bournemouth. Born Brent. Bournemouth Brentford. Uh, this goal is a madness. There was no point where there was a point where there were no Bournemouth defenders in their whole half. And this ball over the top was delectable to Mbueno. Mbuemo and Bueno. And uh, they were still at the halfway line. I have no one else really to give this to other than Tyler Adams, who got lobbed. And he's a midfielder. So it's harsh to give him this. To say he's out of position is not wrong because he's in the midfield. But still, he got lobbed and Mbuemo buried it. Brentford on a counter-attack is bullying. Yeah. Their players are too fast. No. It's ridiculous. Yeah, very clear. Ethan Pinnock. Pinnock again. Back on the list. Get on the list. Can't disallow this one, can you? Hmm. Bloody hell, that game was That's ridiculous. So the second goal was definitely a foul. I mean, the keeper would have saved it if the whistle had not already They're blown. all kind of soft. Yeah. But I feel like they could foul. have all been given. That was foul. But, um, it's like he was fuming. He just couldn't get high enough. No. Well, like, he needed to be on some serious stuff. He needed to get back to down. To get up there. Get up there. Yeah. Solanke was up. Solanke's a big guy. Solanke was up. With a cushioned header. Far corner. <laughs> Not being saved. No. Pinnock, you just got out and jump the man. Well, you'll be happy about this next one. Because it wouldn't be a what's he doing without Zabiani getting on the list. Pretty sure uh, Pinnock's on the list more. What's he doing? What's he done? Wissa was handed off to him. And he didn't pick up on it. Fell asleep on his man. He's on the list. You just made the list. Wall Vallis. Wall C. Inori. Yeah. Again, one of these defenders that just stands three yards away from the ball, mm. and he's just nibbling. He's, he's he's trying to get his toe like just a little bit further away from his body. But there's a force field that's stopping him getting closer than two yards mm -hmm. to the ball. And by the end of it, force field is the correct word I think for this week because the next goal is all force field as well. By the end of it, he's put Alicia onto his right foot, onto his left foot, mm -hmm. and he's just gonna curl it in. Yep, he is Alicia quality. I mean, that position, I'm expecting him to score mm -hmm. every time from now on. It was a great angle they called it from as well. That little curl was oh, so delectable, so aesthetic. Aesthetic. Uh, the next one, like we just said, force field a clock for this week in the Premier League. Totty just running away and then turning, 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 trying to look back at it like this, getting completely twisted up. And then it looked like lazy defending. I wanted to give it to everybody, but Totty, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get on the list. Action. Now, if I could give Anderson two for this, I would. Yeah. But I'm just simply not allowed. <laughs> so the first one would be for playing everything on side. Yep. He's just out of the defensive line. And the second one would be for whatever that slide tackle was <laughs> attempting to, to do. He slid before the ball was played and just missed the ball. It hit his back. Who slide tackles with their back? Pass. He does. It was a good pass. For him. All right, this goal I'm going to give to Kilman. He tries to get the offside and the offside trap just fails him. Uh, he's sleeping on his man. He doesn't put the effort in to actually get the challenge off. He is helped out by one of his teammates, but it's at the end of the day. Get on the list. 
It's a written thing now. When Elise scores, Eze scores. Exactly. It just is what it is. Yep. And Mateta scored as well. Team's firing on the Glasner. Mm-hmm. It's unreal. Kent. Not Chelsea. Was it at Nottingham? Nottingham, Chelsea, yeah. It oh, was damn. at Nottingham, yeah. We put it to them um, at the sea. After you. The forest ground. From World Cup winner to this. Mm-hmm. It's something else. He's completely blind to Mudrick's run. Like, dude should just be on penalties. Mm. That's all he's good at. And then as soon as Mudrick gets the ball, yeah. Montiel runs to the penalty spot. Mm. The end of this goal, when the ball has just gone on into the net, Montiel has just stood on the penalty spot. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Quality pass from Palmer. Next goal up, Sean. Confusing scenes here because Jackson has Bolly. And then I think he tries to hand him off to Chalabar, who's two yards behind Bolly. He's got no chance of getting back in front of him because the ball's already come in. Gallagher obviously putting in max effort, which is fine. But for me, Jackson has to go on the list for this. He's got to keep his man. What are you doing? Nicholas Jackson gets his first. Exactly, get on the list. It's not his first. Malagusta. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? I love, I love it when we've got three right backs on the pitch at the same time. Oh, well. <laughs> and none of them can mark. To start, he's too central before the ball is played to Hudson Adoy. Mm-hmm. Hudson Adoy is in the most space. This exact line of play happened three minutes before they did it again. Yeah. And Gusto is still not out there. And then Hudson Adoy puts it on his right foot, yeah. curls it bottom corner this time and goes in. Yeah. It's not m- miraculously blocked by one of our defenders. <laughs> it goes in the. Well, as annoyed as you are to, as, at that, uh, two of the exact same goals back to back, Sterling did to Aina exactly what Hudson Adoy did to Gusto. Uh, cut it in on his right after a big pass out on the left. Smashes it, curls it, bottom right. Stella goes better. Yeah, well, it's the exact same goal. Through more players. So, Aina, Aina, how do you say your name? On the list. Former chess player. You know, he's not a former chess player. Who's not a former chess player, Sean? Tofolo. Similar to Gusto's, Tofolo is just miles too central, and mm. Rhys James is the most wide open I've ever seen him. Yeah. It's like he hasn't played for a year and everyone's forgotten who he is. Because mm. you're giving that much space, he's going to pick a pinpoint cross. Now, Sells does fall over. Yeah. But, you know, if you can blame someone else, don't blame Sells. Poop. Painfully out of position. Moving us on to Man U arse. Muntas. <laughs> yeah, Manchester United Arsenal. Sean, you're not part of this, so oh, just I'm sit there quiet and behave. Uh, Casemiro and wan are both sleeping here. Um, but it's like Man United fell asleep for five seconds, the whole team. Uh, Casemiro, you're getting on the list for this one. He's not a centre-back. I don't know why they're playing him as a centre-back. He's just standing watching. Just, oh, Sittums, oh, Sittums. And wan trying his best, but couldn't get there. Man United have two fit centre-backs. One of them's Willy Kambawala, mm-hmm. and the other one's Johnny Evans. Yeah, well. That's why they're playing I mean, I understand why they are doing it, but they shouldn't be doing it because Casemiro does not play centre-back. I mean, he played for the greatest team of all time for, what? Ten minutes? Eight years. Oh. And they never once put him centre-back. Astapool. Avliv. Aston Villa, Liverpool. Could you imagine Liverpool bottling it again? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> they have. Scene. Sorry, Matt. I can't believe it. They're so they're so good. Who's up first? Martinez. Oh yeah. I mean, if you're gonna score an own goal, punch it into your own net. Yeah. <laughs> Just like it's hard to control him. It did come off of his own defender's chest and send it slightly higher than he was expecting. He caught it with his chin. But he saved it and then pushed it into. Yeah, the I net. know. He hit the ground. His eyes were closed, and he moved his hand to catch the ball, and he pushed it into the net. Keep your eyes open. It's man, unfortunate. I'll keep it. The next one's also a mess, Sean, because every single defender closed in on the near post. Because Gomez couldn't keep with his man. The pass comes back in. Virgil van Dijk falls over his own man. And then it gets tapped in. VVD on the list. This, Matt, this you've got to agree. 100% should have been a foul. Oh, yeah, of course. John McGinn has slide so tackled many fouls. two Liverpool defenders yeah. by falling over. <laughs> it's top-tier shithousery from John McGinn. They just all fell over. <laughs> you love to see it, to be honest. Who's up next? Carlos. Not you. Diego Carlos. Yeah. He deserves it for the miss that mm-hmm. he's about to do as well. Yeah. 0.99 XG miss. Yeah. And he took it off. Unbelievable. But he's just switched off when Gomez gets the ball. And yeah. for a second, I thought Gomez was going to score a goal. Yeah. <laughs> for a second. And then I was like, oh, Joe Gomez, literally impossible to score a goal. Mm. He's never going to score a goal in his whole career. Oh, there you go. Impossible for him. Okay, next up is Digne for this one, letting Kwanzaa score top bins with his head. Absolutely rose up. Digne, what are you doing? We done. You can't leave your man alone. You're not Nicholas Jackson or Chalabar. Well, you are, because both of them did the same thing. Sean, who's next? Alexis McAllister. Now, I give this man a lot of praise. Mm -hmm. I said potential goal of the season winner. Mm -hmm. But um, he's a silly, silly man. He is, isn't he? Because the only time he had to be a World Cup winner quality player 
was right now. They wouldn't be playing for nothing. The ball, I don't know how he's managed to leave a gap big enough yeah. for the ball to just slide under his foot, ball to Mr. Duran, yeah. who just plays. I thought this was a big corner. heavy touch from him. He doesn't touch the ball. I thought he touches it, takes it, goes, it on the turn. It goes right under his foot. Oh, that's dead. It's so like shocking that I've just seen Alexis Picasso do that. Yeah, well, the next goal, he's a no fault. The only one. The only one this week that's no fault because this is pure fluke, pure jam. No, Not no fault because it's quality, but Duran, he hits his thigh, goes over Allison, 3-3, three, three, complete and utter fluke. Um, that's it for this week. We've got one more week left before we do Premier League Inception where we get all of the football YouTubers' predictions and we see who is the best on YouTube and who is the most accurate. We're looking forward to that. Sean? If you like the video, like the video. Like I said earlier, if you like the video and you watched all the way to the end, drop us a like, drop us a comment and subscribe for the next one because next season we've got Premier League and the Champions League. I'm sure Sean might even throw in some championship for you on his own. Potentially. Potentially. Depends how many goals there are. It's like 100 a week. Yeah, I'll do the Serie A. How's that? Three goals, three goals a week. Peace.